Hey guys, this is Potato Fruit here. Oh, sorry. Uh, still getting used to the new channel name. Hey guys, this is Bear Productions here, and I I know I'm late to the party to 75th anniversary videos, but you know, like my scheduling sucks. So like, I kind of had to make one eventually, and I didn't want to just leave it unnoticed. So if you were wondering where the 75th anniversary video is, I guess you can consider this, this the anniversary video. And I just wanted to say congratulations to Thomas and friends. I know they're not a person, but like, it's still kind of cool to know that one of my favorite shows has been existing longer than I've even thought been before. It, like it was started before I was even th thought of. So yeah. Here it is. This is probably one of the best customs when it comes to modifications and paint job. Okay, maybe not on the paint job, but yeah. Alright, so if you're wondering who this is, then this is Thomas as a J50. I was also basing him off of... I was also basing him off of the, uh... Audrey Thomas. A little bit, whenever it came to painting him... Because I kind of painted him more of like a teal blue. Now, if I go over here and get the Thomas that I'm using now for my series, you might also see him in a film I'm working on. So, yeah. Uh, if you compare him to this Thomas, this is the Thomas that I'm using now. This is the J50 Thomas. Uh, he's he's a bit longer. Uh, there's a lot of modifications that be that have been made, and it was really hard, and it took a while. So, a lot of people just cut off like this part right here, and then build their own. But what I was thinking of doing, which is what I did do, was if we go to this side. Because this is the best side. What I was thinking of doing was, was that I would just cut off the uh, wheel arch this Thomas has. Oh, sorry about that. I would just cut off the wheel arch this Thomas has. And then cut inside as much as I can. Because if I take the chassis off, I mean the shell off of this Thomas. You can only go so far in. <laughs> You can only go so far in after you take it off. Because then you'd start reaching this part. And I didn't want to do it too much to the point where it just looked obnoxious. So. I just put it in a lip. I just took it and cut in a little bit. And then. Yeah. Now this was originally going to be Thomas's brother. This is what it was originally. For. um The enemy within. I'm still not sure about that, so, yeah. So, anyways, this is what he looks like whenever, like, uh, so basically, sorry, I need to explain myself. Uh, so basically, he was originally Thomas's brother, and either way, this would have been looking good. And he still needs some adjustments done to him, like the back, it looks trash. <laughs> uh, and... The, uh, weathering. I need to add weathering. So, yeah. Now, let's go on to what I did to get these little, um, triangular pieces here. Uh. Okay, so basically, I took some air dry clay I had. And just kind of put it on the front. On, on the, put, put it on the front and kind of molded it into the shape. Then after that dried, I glued it on, which took forever because I was procrastinating. <laughs> I glued it on, and then after it dried overnight, I sanded it a ton. Because, like, it used to stick out a lot, and it still kind of does. But it's not as bad as it was before. But on this side, I just kind of get... At that point, on this side, I just kind of given up. So then I just... <laughs> it looks kind of sad. Whenever you look at it from this angle, I definitely need to do some adjustments to this side. Now, the worst part about this model, whenever it comes to design, 
is that you can't take the shell off because if you do it'll have to come off of the um running board and the boiler which is kind of sucky for design on my part so yeah everything on here was hand painted uh, I did everything by hand so yeah uh, as you can see on the face the face is kind of it's kind of looking a bit sad <laughs> Uh, it doesn't look that bad in person from the angle I'm at, but like, holy dude, look at that. <laughs> yeah, he definitely needs a new face. That, that That's probably one of the biggest needs I need for him. And yeah, uh, it looks really good. Um, I tried to make it as even with this part as possible. Like, I tried to make it as even as possible with his side tank. Because there's a lot of J50 customs, Trackmaster customs, that, like, you can see the part they added on sticking out. And I didn't want that to be there because I wanted to have a look as much as, like, an actual model as possible. Less can be said on this side, though. Yeah, he definitely needs some minor adjustments. Uh, he's probably one of my best customs, honestly. And yeah, no, this is this Tom, this Thomas model is going to be used uh, in my series at least once. So stay tuned for that. His face is not changeable, not changeable, dude. <laughs> Which is another reason why I want to get him a new face. Yeah, I might just paint over this face or like rip it off as much as I can. So yeah. All right, guys. Um. So that's my J50 Thomas. I hope you guys guys like it. It took a while, and if you're wondering, oh yeah, I might have to explain this part too. I took a late Trackmaster Thomas shell and put it onto a late Trackmaster Percy shell. So then whenever I put it on, he would have that flat running board. Now one part that I really hated, and you can see a bit there. Is that he has cylinders and like his, his cylinder is sticking out I don't know if that's what the part is so yeah and on the bottom uh, it fits perfectly it fits pretty it's pretty snug uh, the middle wheel part so yeah this is probably one of my favorite customs whenever it comes to making it though I mean yeah because like the paint I've never used this kind of paint before, so it was kind of new to me. And, um, the lining is probably one of the best linings I've done. Even though the one kind of looks depressing, but let's not mention that. Alright, so this is my J50 Thomas. And I hope you guys like the 75th anniversary video. I am so sorry for it being late, but, I mean... I've kind of been procrastinating. Same can go on for the series. I'm still going to do it. And by the way, we have voice actors for the series, boys. Yep, yep, yep. We have voice actors for the series. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and custom showcase. And I'll see you guys next time.